Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is going to be an update on my 2022 Honda Grom. I bought it brand new back in January of this year with zero miles on it. Right now I have 6,026 miles on it, averaging 115.3 miles per gallon. Um, so, as you may know in the last video, I had wrapped it that color. It's like a gray, but when the sun hits it, it's purple, which is a pretty cool color. I uh, had that wrap on from, I think I put it on in April or May of this year, and I recently just took it off yesterday. I had wrapped over the Honda logo and the Grom logo, and when I took the wrap off, it didn't even mess it up, which is very nice, very nice. Uh, the, pr the circles are still painted purple. I'm probably going to get some more from TST Industries to make it look cleaner. Um, I also had the Zoom Brute Exhaust straight from Amazon on here. And I put that on probably when I put about a thousand miles on the bike. And a few days ago, I had noticed the bracket on the Zoom Exhaust that mounts right here to the stock location. The bracket connected to the exhaust the weld had broken off so the exhaust was literally being held on by the two head studs so <laughs> i went ahead and took that off and luckily i saved my stock exhaust and put this back on and it's much more quiet and i'll be honest i like this way better the zoom exhaust was just really loud and obnoxious and i mean it's pretty cool you know, it'll like pop and bang, but you know, you're driving 20, 30 minutes on it. It's not even, sorry about that. It's not even pleasant really. You just have a headache by the end of it, but it did look cool. It sounded cool, I guess, but this is way more practical, more inconspicuous, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it does look, it looks a little weird. It looks like a huge shotgun on the side of it. Kind of like it, but whatever. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting the Zoom Brute exhaust, just know that the bracket right there will probably break on the stupid weld. Um, so yeah, I hope you save your factory exhaust. You might need it. Um, other than that, the bike's running good. Um, I did report a problem with what sounded like to be the transmission. It was making this weird noise, and I haven't heard it since, so that's always good. Um, still got the tail tidy on, which is looking good as always. Turn signal still work from TST. Um, yeah, still need to get bar and mirrors for it, but for the most part... She's holding up. The Pro Taper chain, very nice, very nice. Highly suggested. Um, what's gonna be next is gonna be new tires. 6,000 miles on the stock tire right there. I live in South Georgia, so all the roads are flat and straight. Not really any curvies down here. So that's why it's kind of flat and bald on the top. You ain't really <laughs> turning hard. Um, the front tire has has held up way better than the back tire. Um, I have not done any wheelies on this, so I don't know why the back tire is a lot more bald than the front. So probably going to get some more street tires. I really like the knobby tires, but I'm not I'm not off roading this thing. So probably going to get some Michelins on the old girl. And that's about it. Been doing an oil change on it every 500 to 1,000 miles or so with the filter. So she's holding up. No check engine light on it. You know, crank her up. Someone clowned me for holding in the clutch and starting it. So here. Hope that makes you happy. A lot more quiet. Way more quiet than the, uh, the old Amazon special I had. But cranks right up, no check engine light, no weird idling, no weird noises, sounds normal. 
really liking the more quiet exhaust, not gonna lie. It doesn't wake the neighbors up at seven o'clock in the morning when I leave for work, so that's always good. So anyway, that's the update on the 2022. Solid bike so far. Let's hope it stays this way. And also, forgot to mention this, this rear passenger peg doesn't fold down no more. I don't know why. I mean, it's not really bothering me. I'm not carrying nobody on here, but this one works. But this one won't come down, which I don't know why. And also, I'm missing a bolt right here. I don't know how the hell that happened, but when I was putting the exhaust back on, I was like, wait a minute. Is this one still on there? So, I don't know. Anyway, that's the update. It's a cool bike. See ya.